All right, hey guys, Jason here, Sam Cole Workshop. Sorry to put sunglasses on because it's getting pretty bad out here sun-wise. But today what we're going to talk about is uh, mud tires and why they wear as fast as they do and then some of the differences. There's, there's a lot of benefits to them, but a lot of people don't realize what you're getting into with a mud tire. So we're going to look at that today. Here we got, a, we're at the Ford dealership actually. This is the uh, J.C. Lewis Ford here in Statesboro, Georgia, my hometown dealer. And they got they put a lot of their vehicles, they put... Uh, mud tires, hybrids, all that kind of stuff on. So we got some stuff to show you. Here though, we got an actual, um, we got a uh, um, a mud tire right here. This is a mud tire. And what we're seeing here is see how huge all these grooves are between here. Okay, and then you got the real big lugs on here. All right, so that's an advantage to them. But so when you see mud tires, a lot of times you see them, they're basically almost bald. They wear out a lot faster. Um, probably about 25% faster than an all-terrain and people wonder why how do they wear out when their lugs are so much bigger and taller and bigger and beefier why do these wear down as faster than an all-terrain the reason is because these actually have on them they have a um, they're made with a softer durometer okay that's the the, the compound that the, the rubber is made out of see how I can move these and flex these okay that is designed for these to give you traction grip and flex and open and close and grab onto stuff as you're going over rocks as you're going through mud to be able for these to work and in order to be softer durometer then what happens is they're going to wear quicker when they're on the pavement. Okay, it's just almost like having an ATV, a four-wheeler, or a side-by-side -side with knobby tires. And then when you're rolling down the pavement, they wear down a lot quicker. Same thing happens here. These tires are designed as a mud terrain. Mud terrain. They want to be used in the mud and on soft surfaces to give you the absolute maximum traction on those soft surfaces. Or in rock or things like that kind of stuff. But they're going to, that's the reason they're like that. Plus, notice how many voids you have all over here. These are designed to clear mud out. They even have these little guards like you're seeing in here, these little uh, lightning bolts. These are designed to help evacuate and keep mud and rocks from sticking in there. They're ejectors is what they are. And sorry about the pollen. It's Georgia here, so we got pollen. But you can see all these ejectors built into here that are designed to prevent mud and uh, rocks and stuff from sticking in here. But that real big open pattern of this means that you have much less contact surface area on pavement which means each one of these lugs gets a lot more abuse heat and use um, on the road so they wear out faster because of that reasons but off-road they're going to be absolutely tremendous so here's what a what a mud tire looks like and again keep in note of the size of these spacings that we have on here and these huge chunky lugs and how spread out they are and now if we go over and we look at, for example, a uh, let's look at a couple different versions, but you can see that again as we just, just for perspective, I mean, you can see how great those would be off-road. And those aren't brand new. I mean, these have got some miles on them already. So they're, they're, they're being worn. This is a used truck here. But uh, you can see how how well that would work off-road and how that would eject mud you know mud would clean itself out and uh, they would you know they just work great off-road that's what they do they're a mud tire but that open big lug design and that soft durometer that soft rubber compound that they're made out of is, is a detriment on the highway that's why it's a trade-off so what they've done is they've come out with like a hybrid tire Okay, we got a couple different versions here. Uh, on this Bronco, we have one that's kind of considered a hybrid. Uh, Goodyear doesn't call it a mud terrain. They call it a maximum traction, which is about the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Okay, they call it Terry Territory MT maximum traction. But you can see on here, too, maybe this has a spare the same on the back. They'll show you better. I'm going to get into wheel wells. Yeah. So it's it's similar this is kind of a all-terrain this is more all-terrain than anything but notice how every block is separated with a lot of options for mud to clear out of those that's their, what they call a maximum traction it's not quite big enough lugs to be considered a mud terrain and the gaps are not big enough to be considered a mud terrain so they call it a maximum traction is what they call this but it's more of like a hybrid style tire and then here you have a Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack, which is a very aggressive all-terrain. 
Okay, but you can see it's got the big lugs on the outside, the uh, tighter lug pattern on the inside. Okay, so and these are going to be a harder durometer, so you're going to get more mileage out of these tires. These tires here are going to be kind of a softer durometer. You can see them. You can actually even feel the movement in these lugs. Okay, they twist and turn, and and uh, Goodyear's never been, you know known for real high mileage tires but look at how functional that is off-road how grippy and how well that's going to work okay that's their maximum traction designed to this so it's all about spacing and durometers are what's going to give you the differences and when we come over here we got some nitto we got uh what i see when i pulled by we got some uh ridge grapplers i think here which is like a hybrid tire so it kind of takes that same kind of concept splits the difference right here Okay, is this a ridge or a trail? This is a ridge grappler, yep. Okay, and then this one, see you got real big high side biter lugs, which are gonna help you in the sand and the mud. You got very big lugs on here, but they are spaced a little closer together giving you more of a contact patch for the pavement for better road manners less noise and uh these are a lot stiffer durometer so they're not going to be quite like a mud tire and wear out quite as fast so there's your differences when it comes to a mud terrain um today um i, I recommend a mud terrain if you're actually going to be in the mud and in the dirt 99 percent of the time if you're going to be putting say you're doing uh if you're doing 50 even 50 percent on road 50 percent off road which is about how my miles pan out on mine um going with something like a hybrid like this is going to give you a little better wear resistance and a little bit more road manners and almost the same capability in the mud is what you're going to get from a mud tire but if you are spending if you're building a specific off-road rig that is going to spend most of us see look at the difference here between those and a street tire to put it into perspective between those and an all-terrain hybrid all-terrain okay look at the difference okay you can see that's tremendous okay so this takes that here's your all-terrain this takes it up to a level of a hybrid and in between and that is just short of what we get on this mud terrain i'll bring you over all right we are back over at that true mud terrain and we can see the massive distances and gaps in here between them and what they are. So this is going to give you maximum traction, but they are gonna, these are gonna wear out by 30, 35, max 40,000 miles, where those other ones are probably gonna give you 45, 50, 55, 60,000 miles, depending on who they are. Um, and again, it all has to relate to the durometer and the softness of the metal and how big these spaces are, meaning that each lug here gets more abuse than if there was many more lugs, like what you see, like I said, on any other kind of tire here. So uh, that basically, in a nutshell, is the reason mud terrains don't last as long, um, tread life-wise, as all terrains do, or hybrid tires. Um, they're all fantastic, you can't go wrong. If my, my Jeep, if I did not have to take my Jeep on the highway as much as i do because my truck lives in the woods 300 miles a week but on the same note i'm also a photographer so i have to travel uh for six months a year every every week i am you know i could be 500 miles away and then back 500 there 500 home next week 300 miles away 300 home it's all highway stuff i want the longevity of tires so for me a decent hybrid tire or a decent uh, heavy heavy aggressive all-terrain is going to give me max life out of it with almost the capabilities of a mud terrain but there's no doubt that this is the most amount of traction you can get are in these versions of mud terrain tires but it comes at a price of uh you know because of the design and how great they are you know the cake is always you can't eat your cake and whatever that phrase is can't have your cake and eat it too which i don't even understand how that works but point being here is that there is a cost to these that cost comes into tread life mud terrains wear out a lot quicker than an all-terrain or a hybrid does but uh but they give you maximum traction